Hello guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So, kapag bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So today, I will be teaching you on how to solve word problem involving pattern. Okay, so, I have here on my board, use a difference to predict the next three terms. So, for example, number one, we have 4, 16, and 64. So, what are you going to do is, you are going to get the next three terms. So, first term is 4. What did you do? Anong ginawa mo po sa 4 in order to get 16? So, nagmultiply po tayo ng 4. And then, 16, what did you do so that the uh, next number is 64? Diba? If you will multiply it by 4, will give you 64. So, it means to say, ang difference pala niya, in order to get the next term, is you need to multiply it by 4. So, let us get the fourth term of this. So, 64 times 3, so if you are going to multiply it manually, 64 times 4 will give you 16 care 1, 24, 25. So, therefore, the next term is 256. In order to get the next term, multiply again by 4. So, 6 times 4 is 24, carry 2, 20, 22, carry 2, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so that is 1,024. Next term again, you have to multiply it by 4. So, multiply it by 4, 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, 9, 0, and 4. So, that is 4,096. So, therefore, class, that the difference, the next three terms are 256, 1,024, and 4,096. Okay, next. What is the next two terms? So, 15, 12, and 9. So, what are you going to do? 15, ano ginawa mo para magiging 12? Di po ba nag-subtract tayo by 3? 12, ano ginawa mo para maging 9? Nag-subtract po tayo ng 3. So, it means to say, ang difference po niya ay babawasan natin ng 3. Subtracted it by 3 so that you could get the next two terms there. So, 9 minus 3 will give you 6. 6 minus 3 will give you 3. So, the two terms are 6 and 3. Okay? So, the next one I have here on the table, we have week 1, so the first um, row, we have week, and then the second row, we have savings. So, Jose, si Jose po binigyan po ng kanyang nanay, ng kanyang baon araw-araw. And what he did, ay para po ma makapag-save uh, po siya, for week 1, na savings niya ay 12 pesos, for week 2, 48 pesos, so... Uh, let us check. Ano pong ginawa ninyo sa 12 para po mag-48? Di po ba nag-multiply tayo by 4, right? And then, what are you going to do para po maging 192? So, let us check. If you will multiply it again by 4, will give you, yeah, that is equal to 192. It means to say, ang difference niya dito in order to get the next term is you need to multiply it by 4. So, times 4 will give you 48. 48 times 4 will give you 192. So, in the fourth week, what are we going to do is we need to multiply again by 4, right? So, 8, 6, 3. So, that will be 768. On the fifth week, multiply again by 4. So, 8 times 4 will give you 2, and then carry 3, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3, 27, carry 2, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. So therefore, 
the question there is, how much will Jose save from his allowance for the fifth week? So on the fifth week, Jose saved 3,072 pesos. So guys, in order to identify or determine the next term, what I'm going to do is you need to analyze the first term going to the second term. So this is now the process. How are you going to um, solve for the word problem involving pattern? Thank you so much and have a great day, everyone.